This is my uh, modified computer power supply. It's an ATX 120 watt power supply, and I've taken the cover off and removed the fan, plugged into the mains right now. And normally it outputs 12 volts, but at the moment it's outputting 10.7 because I've performed a few uh, modifications to it. But it will go even higher. As you can hear, the fan is getting much, much faster as it runs off the 12 volt line. And it is actually stable at one voltage once it settles. Let's see how high it will go. Ah, it cut out around 26 volts there. It won't go any higher than about 28 usually. And to reset it, you must pull out the mains and discharge the filter capacitors. to make sure you don't electrocute yourself. See small sparks there. Um, I've already used this to uh, experiment with a CD ROM drive. I put 25 volts into it and uh, it's just saying that chip there didn't like it. It uh, quite ex quite explosively went up. Recently everything else on it survived. Anyway, this was broken, so it was so fun. And your yeah, modification. So I have to locate the feedback path. Now, all power supplies have a feedback path to feed a control signal back to the switching IC, which in this case is there. Um, it's a Fairchild power switch of some kind. And there's some opto isolators there, so you know the secondary side is isolated from the primary side, which you must not touch, because that will kill you. The secondary side is low voltage, usually. In my case, about 30 volts. Um, and I've located the uh, IC that handles the voltage reference, TL431, and uh, I've stuck a potentiometer across one of the feedback resistors, if you can see that. And by doing that, you can adjust the resistance of the feedback divider and uh, adjust the voltage. And I'm not sure why it cuts out around 28 volts. Initially, there was a uh, over-voltage protection circuit, simply an SCR across the 5-volt rail, but I just bridged the uh, gate to the anode and disabled that, so it has no over-voltage protection now. It used to stop at around 14, but now it goes all the way up to 28. And something else is limiting it to 28, I'm not sure what, but for now I'm not really bothered with that because it works. There are two optocouplers on this supply. One appears to turn the slight on and off completely, and one is the feedback. Um, this one uh, controls the overload, short circuit protection, uh, over voltage, so if you want to reset it, you always have to just short out that optocoupler there and it resets the supply without you having to remove the mains. And that's my adjustable power supply mod. It has a plus 12 volt, plus 5 volt, plus 3.3 .3 volt, and minus 12 volt rails, which um, plus 12 volts goes from around 10 and a half to about 28 volts. Uh, 5 volts goes from about 4.8 to about 12 volts. And 3.3 .3 volts goes from about 3.1 to 8.5 volts, and the minus 12 volt goes from minus 11.1 volts to about minus 30. So pretty high. Now the filter caps on here only rated for 25 volts. So uh, if I happen to go over 25 volts, I'm going to significantly shorten the lifespan. Let's see.
and there's a fan here and the fan runs faster because it runs off the 12 volt line um, and that's pretty much unavoidable at the moment unless I replace it with a 5 volt fan and run it off the 5 volt standby line which stays constant no matter what the uh, output voltages are because it's off a separate supply a little tiny little transformer there runs the standby supply and that's uh, my adjustable power supply mod